I think before we can draw real conclusions around where this is heading, uh, we need a couple more to see the trend really. Uh, we know that energy prices, other prices have a massive effect on some of these data as well coming through either in terms of the psychological side of the spending or the real prices as well. So before that pans out into a trend, I think we have to be careful. What we do believe is that certainly inflation is, uh, is on the way back. Uh, both in the US as well as in, uh, in, in Europe, uh, where we actually feel there's going to be a, a, a trough earlier in the year here in Europe than in, in the US. Um, uh, from that perspective, we also feel that while the year goes on, we will see more points where we think this will be the year of inflection. It will certainly be a year of inflection where with more data points, with more news, there will be more visibility as to where things are going. And what you see, and also what what kind of the subject of the of the of the IMF here is of the WAF here is, is that you know it's, it's the fragmentation that we see uh, in specific areas, also for the years to come, on energy, on food security, and on technological security as well. Yeah, so you say a year of inflection, but a year of improvement in how most people will experience their relationship with inflation. Exactly. So, and the inflection is basically, it, basically, it's kind of the turning point uh, as to how we look at things, right? So, and with that, also how we behave, because in the end, the economy is a behavioral science, and therefore, you know, the economy is also a very psychological, uh, has a psychological uh, aspect to it as to how we cope with these certain new circumstances, uh, and and that will certainly. Uh, change this year. And we, we've seen it coming through in, in, in China already with the opening up. Uh, we expect much more consumer spending to come from that as well. We do expect uh, uh, a demand for energy to increase. We do uh, uh, expect demand for commodities to increase on the back of that as well. Um, your earnings are not far away, so that we're limited on how much we can talk specifically about the, the bank's activity. But I remember when we, when we last chatted on the, 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 the third quarter, um, what was clear was that there was a slowdown in economic activity in the Asia-Pacific region. Mm -hmm. And a lot of that was still to do with China's zero COVID exactly. strategy. Yeah. We're coming out of that now, yeah. but it, it, we're not sure whether that's going to be inflationary, whether that's going to be stop, start, stop, start, exactly. given policy the uncertainty uh, from China, but, but well, what's your sense well, and three. what do you, so what do you think is, we're going to see in terms so one of is economic activity? The stop start uh, in terms of COVID policy, by the way, stop start in terms of that now we're celebrating the, new, the Chinese New Year, which in itself is already kind of a moment where, you know, people are doing other things, right? Uh, and then there's some geopolitical discussions there as well in that region. So how that really develops uh, will have an impact as to whether that trend is going to be more on the positive side or not. We do expect it to kind of be more and more constructive. Um, but again, you know, it's early days. Also, it's early days for us now to go out to clients and say, well, go full in. We are, uh, we are overweight on China, though, in our advice. Right. Um, yeah. Markets have, have largely uh, rejected the Fed's analysis of the need for higher interest rates because of uh, persistently strong inflation trends. Do you think markets have got this right or are they running ahead of where we actually are on the growth story? No, well, I think central banks have been very clear as to that what they want to fight is truly inflation, right? At any cost, almost at any cost. Mm. And, uh, and that was a very clear signal from the beginning. I do think that if what we currently see uh, will be a, a, a sort of a trend, then central banks will not have to go as far on the rate side or will have to come off the rate hike uh, 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 program uh, earlier than expected. So I think markets are basically looking at it in the, kind of in the, in the middle, on the middle ground there. But, you know, markets are more jittery than central bank policy, as you know. Yeah. So if for the next two weeks there will be other news, then markets will turn.